What's up guys, it's Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys and we are coming back at you again today with another video. Sorry for the <laughs> crazy camera skills we're already starting this video out with. Um, this is going to be Yard Sale Finds Episode 3 where I kind of go over what I find at the yard sales, how much I spent, how much the value is on the return if we sell it all off. As you can see in the uh, thumbnail, we found quite a bit of stuff. Not a lot, but we found enough. Uh, it was worth my trip to go out. I was kind of skeptical on Saturday because it was not looking good, but it kind of it turned around a little bit. I just got to get the stuff sold off. So um, if you guys are wondering, everything I show here is listed on my eBay. If you have questions on what that is, I guess you could uh, write down below and I might could shoot you a link or if you've got my information just email me or text me and I'll shoot that over to you. You might have some interest in something. Um, I went to one sale on Friday and I'm going to show that stuff first and I actually bought something off of Facebook Marketplace but I'm thinking I'm going to keep that item but I'll still show it. Uh, I mean I could turn around a profit on it but I think I'm actually going to keep that. So, without further ado, let's get going. Uh, picked up these switch remotes, and they have the drift situation. That meaning when you hook them up to the uh, switch, the uh, Joy Cons, like they drift and stuff, or if you play them like you're driving something, it just moves and you're not even moving it. So, they're kind of for parts only but uh, they can be fixed. I'm just not gonna tackle it, but these still like they are, are going for about $40. Um, and I only spent five, so that was a pretty good deal. I bought this PS4 controller. It looks gently used. I mean, it's still in very good condition. Um, and the guy that I bought it from, he was like, I was like, how much is this? And I was expecting him to say, you know, three or four or five dollars, I don't know. You know how people are. Some people think they got a gold mine, and then others, they, you can tell they want to get rid of it. He told me a dollar. I couldn't take a yes from that quick enough. And this actual remote, just as it sits, goes for about $20 to $25. All right, this next item that I'm showing is actually already sold, and I've listed it, and it's sold. It is a TI-84 Plus, and it is a, I think, the Silver Edition. I'm not mistaken it may not be but it came in this case it come with the manual which was uh, pretty epic I've never gotten or seen one of these with the manual same seller same guy one dollar guys for this one dollar I was just like are you kidding me yes I will take it couldn't say yes fast enough this item has actually sold and it sold for forty dollars plus shipping so the uh, Money spent at that one sale just made it off of that one item. Now we can just pure profit, and we actually already profited from the other from that from what we spent. This next item, I was kind of blind buying at this sale, but I kind of know what's what at this point just from teaching myself. But I thought this was worth more than it actually is. It is a Batman trilogy set, it comes with this book kind of showing some stuff from the movies, and then it's got all the movies in here. This set's really not going for a lot. $10 on the high end side, down to five on the low. I only gave a dollar for it, so not mad at all uh, with that. I can live with that, but I was thinking with it being Blu-ray and it is a trilogy set, it was going for more than that. But there was no way I could really look it up with the barcode real quick, and I didn't want to do it. Sometimes I'm just not going to disrespect the seller uh, at the yard sale, if they're, especially if they're putting prices out like that. I'll just go ahead and kind of pay what they want and take the chance. Like I said, no big deal there. This is the item that I got from Facebook Marketplace. It is a camera. I paid $20 for this, and I think I'm going to keep it because I'm going to try to start filming with this at Bowman Gray, as well as other things maybe uh, we'll use here on the channel. It's a Canon PowerShot SX410IS. And it is a 20 megapixel. It's got a super lens on it. I mean, it's crazy. I've kind of fired up. Look how big, long this bad boy goes out. And it takes good pictures too. Very good, very good pictures. 
I mean, it goes up to, to 160 G's. We could really zoom in some stuff, couldn't we? <laughs> but anyways, uh, I like this camera, and I think I'm going to keep it uh, for myself, especially only paying 20 But if we wanted to go the other route and sell it, we could get 175 to 100 they're selling for, and that is with the battery. Now, I would take my SD card out, but uh, that was a pretty good one. All right, next one, obviously, I'm going to keep for now anyways unless I decide uh, to run a raffle on it in the long run I picked this up at a sale yesterday yesterday being Saturday today is Sunday when I'm filming so we're getting this up today it's a Jeb Burton um, throwback and it is a throwback to his dad so I plan on getting Jeb on the front and Ward on the back probably in yellow or red one of the two but I uh, only paid $2 for that, guys. And that one is actually selling for about 40 So not a bad deal there. All right, this next thing and last thing that I bought at the sales um, was a bundle deal. It was kind of late in the day. And my, my mom or wife or one of them had seen it. And it's actually someone that we knew. Um, they had was doing a yard sale and the proceeds was going to their daughter. She's going on uh some trips she plays softball so uh all the money raised was to help fund the trips so uh i kind of didn't want to harass them with low ball prices i just paid what they wanted for it and i thought it was fair i looked up a couple of the games and i was thinking you know just for the games alone i think i can make the money back and the system is kind of just an added bonus i've got to buy something or see if i don't have a extra uh, cable or two for the system anyway, so uh, no big deal there, but I bought a Wii and uh, a bunch of games here all those for 40 bucks and we'll kind of show the, the games first I was kind of Ironically thinking where's Wii Sports? Well when I got home Plugged it in just to see if it would at least power on I didn't test it out or anything on the screen um I hit the eject button just to see if a game was in it, and Wally Da Wii Sports was in it. So I was like, "Heck yeah!" Wii Sports sells uh, for fifteen to twenty alone, the disc only, guys. Just the disc. It's crazy, right? But yep, for sure. That one should probably sell. We got a Zumba Wii. This is not really a sought-after game. It's just a common. It's only five dollars. Carnival games, same way. Not really that common. I mean, uh, it's a common game, five bucks. And then uh, their daughter liked Just Dance. So we literally have Just Dance from 2014 to 18, all in order. And 18 sells for 15 bucks, sometimes a little bit more. 17 sells for 12. 16 sells for nine. 15 for five. And then 14 for about five as well we had one more game and i was kind of excited about it but i can't get it to work it just needs kind of cleaning resurfacing i don't have a resurfacing machine so it's not going to work for me but maybe somebody out there it would but if it was in working condition super mario all-stars just the disc alone would be about 20 to 25 so i guess maybe i could get i don't know 10 10 out of it if that but i don't even know if I'm going to fool with that. And then the Wii console itself, um, we got the console. Um, I think we had one remote with, I forget, what is that called? It's not Motion Plus. Gosh, I forget, guys. Anyways, that's on there. Kind of clips there. And then we got two generic remotes. I don't know what the generic remotes are going for. Didn't really look them up. Um, and then all the accessories. The only accessory I don't have is the AV, but they were using this Wii to HDMI, full HD. So um, I don't know about that one. I, I've kinda gotta work on that system before I really put it up because I don't wanna, you know, put it up and then somebody 
say, well, everything's not here once they receive it or something, especially with these. Uh, there's just a lot of work there. But I'm hoping I can sell these games off and kind of get my money back on the system that way and then maybe do that later. Either way, I'm not really that mad about this whole bundle deal here. So, I mean, you know, I just kind of took a risk. I mean, it, you have to do that sometimes. So, uh, But the system alone, it does work. I've tested it out. So it's about 30 to 40, give or take. Um, I spent $70 total this weekend. And if we was to sell everything, the value brought back would be about 326 to 350. So I would say we done good. But there's a couple items, you know, uh, like the Wii system. I'm not really going to put up right now. So um, pretty cool though. Good finds and um, another great video. This is episode three, yard sale finds. Come back. We'll try episode four. We probably won't do it next week unless there's something that's crazy that I'll go out and get. But I doubt it because we're actually going to have a yard sale ourselves here at the house. So um, taking a week off from it and then we'll be back again maybe in two weeks, hopefully. Uh, good weather. So we're going to head off. Thanks again, guys, for watching. This is Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. And we will see you guys later. Take care, guys. God bless.